Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I thought I was at the end of this place. Turns out it's a little bit longer. That's alright. Got a time hat. That uh, prevents, I think it prevents like stop and slow. Yeah, might as well. Wait a minute, this is the end? Oh, shit, look what I almost missed. I don't want to miss that. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't want this party uh, to face the boss. I'll be right back. Alright, this is my party for the next battle. Gold stud on Chrono. Charm top on Isla. Gonna want the charm top. And dash ring on Robo. Let's do it. Wait a minute. Is it Ozzy? They're not trying to trick us, are they? I guess they are. Yes, this is the Giga Gaia. Now there's three parts to this guy. There's the two hands, and then there's the uh, the head. You can't charm anything from the hands, so don't bother trying. Yeah, you can get another speed tab, which is great. Uh, I want to use confuse on yeah the left hand here, because that's the attacking hand. And uh, each one of the hands has about 2,000 HP. And they do respawn. Yeah, I don't care about him healing HP. That that's not gonna it's not gonna hurt me. So I'm just gonna spam Volt Bite and Uzi Punch until this guy dies. It's probably better if I just did this. Might be able to do more damage just doing this instead of that. Yeah, I'd say that's more. Oh shit, ran out of fucking tech points already.
beast toss. Oh, nice. Learn all this new stuff. That I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember whether the shit's good or not. I don't remember everything about this game. I remember the single techs a lot better than I do the uh, dual and triple techs, mainly because the single techniques are, well, better. I wish I would have made the uh, dual and triple techs more useful in this game. I mean, they're useful, they're just, I don't know, it's more efficient to use the single techs most of the time. And hey, it's Melchior! How about that, huh? It's the same guy from the present. been stolen? Now I'm replaced? So it's like not her fault then? She's not a power hungry cunt? After all, she just... Oh. Oh crap. It's gonna happen to us. That's the end of us. Game over. Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, we know that already. Scala's here. Great. I'm going to get to hear her theme again. I'd like to play uh, a Chrono Trigger SNES ROM hack where Scala's a party member. That would be badass. Get on it, ROM hacking people. What a filthy hobble. Yeah, well, you know, they're... They make do with what they got, man. This jerk shows up. Are you kidding me? Yeah, leave her alone. Okay, okay. Means nothing to you, but it obviously means something to the queen, so whatever. <sighs> anyway. Got any bright ideas, Melchior?
<laughs> yeah, this is Melchior before he helped us, so he doesn't know us. So we get a ruby knife, which turns into a ruby sword when we use it, eventually. Alright. And that is that. At this point, I should probably heal up. Oh yes, definitely need to heal up. Yeah, your, uh, your godmother scholar was taken by that jerk Dalton. So yeah, we want to go back to the kingdom of Zeal so we can chase that jerk. So good. So much fun. Uh, you saw anything new? No! Looks like all the same stuff. We're gonna stop the queen. Or die trying. <clears throat> I mean... Well, whatever. I'm gonna leave it at that. I say no more. Wait a minute, I thought the blizzard stopped. I guess it only stopped for that second when the mountain of wool crashed. But anyways, yeah, we want to go back over to the skyway. We can use the, uh, the epoch to go back if you need to go back anywhere else at this time. But I don't think I need to, so let's just keep going here. Yeah, pretty soon we're going to be going to my favorite area of the game. You're almost there. There's a lot of great areas in this game. This area coming up is my favorite. Oh, one thing I probably need to mention, if you have anything to do here in the Kingdom of Zeal, like getting items and shit like that, make sure to, uh, to do so now. Because eventually, you won't be able to come back here. Like after this next dungeon that we'll be going through. Uh, yeah, we won't be able to come back here. So... Just a fair warning. Yeah, like scratching the new, you know, shit like that. Alright, so let's go to the Queen's Hall. Oh, look at that, we can save. Isn't that nice? Oh, wait a minute, aren't I supposed to do something with this fucking ruby knife? And the mammon machine? But the power is gone. It's been moved. 
Why? Oh, that's why. I'm still trying to figure out how they were able to extract the power from here. I mean, isn't wouldn't it be too far away? Wouldn't you have to be closer to the Earth's surface as it is? I don't know, it seems kind of crazy. RPG logic, I guess. Or, I guess you could just say it's magic. Ooh, look at this guy. He's pissed. Look at him. His face is beat red. He's pissed off about being on car duty. I think so, Bob. This guy is easy. Really easy. I don't even know what the fuck Power Meal does. And yeah, all this guy does is have your HP. Pretty much. So you just want to keep it up. I believe he's got about 6,000. show off tail oh no I can't game's not letting me fine rock throw it is oh come on I guess that doesn't work the hell is that shit What, I gotta use magic on your ass? Is that what's going on here? not miss. Ooh, there we go. Bye, jerk. I'm going to be immortal. And he disappears, of course. Alright, so from here... You're going to go to my favorite area of the game. This place... Is amazing. Yes, the Ocean Palace. I freaking love this area. It's got amazing music. You know the story's about to get fucking serious now. And there's a lot of good items to find here. And I'll start doing that in the next episode. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.